hey everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you a really easy but actually fancy looking updo that you can do for natural hair enjoy uh, so as you can see I already parted my hair cuz honestly parting this hair well the parts aren't perfect so <laughs> don't mind them <laughs> Don't mind me. I parted the sides, not perfectly, but I wanted kind of like a little bit of a mohawk effect in the front. Once again, the parts don't have to be perfect. When it goes to the back, you kind of see that I lose my part, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I wanted to make sure that they started kind of, you know, equally as high on both sides. So these are the two parts that I have. These are going to become the rolls and this is going to become the bun. So let's immediately start with that part. Yeah, to make sure that I don't get either of these sections into the bun. I made two little buns and that's easier to get the hair out of the way. Okay, so let's get started with the bun. I use an old pantyhose as a hair tie. Just gives me more support. Because I'm going for like a really low ponytail. And I'm gonna make the ponytail really small because I'm gonna add fake hair, okay? And then I add gel. With the gel, I'm also trying to get the hair off of the parts. So that you can see my parts a little bit better. I'm not gonna use too much gel. I'm using a really soft brush. Then I use some edge control. You better slick them edges, girl. You better slick them edges. Uh, okay. Because I kind of want to give my hair like a really nice shape. I'm going to lift the hair and kind of twirl it over itself. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. I hope it's clear. I kind of lift it over itself. And then I pin it with bobby pins. Yeah, so you're gonna need a lot of bobby pins for this. Is it just me or do you recognize this that you buy like an entire stack and in wire an entire jug of bobby pins and then when you need them, you can't find more than one. And then you have to go and buy a lot more. So you're gonna have to buy bobby pins for this, okay? Let me start to tell you. Let me tell you. So I'm gonna take my hair tie out. And I'm kind of gonna make the bun all over again, but I'm gonna try to make it a little bit smaller and uh, more condensed because I'm gonna be adding hair. So I kind of twisted it up a little bit, kind of tried to bunch it up, and then I'm gonna pin the bun. This is like the little bun that I'm left with. I'm pinning it a little bit more and you can get it smaller. I just don't have the time. We're gonna work on our sections and this is actually where it gets easier. This is like the easiest part. It looks the hardest but it's the easiest. I've already sectioned up my hair. This is one part. This is the other one. Let me show y'all what I do. I take some gel. I add gel. And yeah, I already added gel to this section like a few days ago. So if you see flaking, pardon me, pardon me. It is okay, it is okay. You don't have to take a lot of gel. I take a little bit and then a lot for the front. Just to make sure that I get the baby hairs as well. I take the front and then I just wrap. I just roll the hair upwards, actually, if that makes sense. I roll the entire section. You see? I just roll it. I just roll the entire section upwards and then I keep taking more hair and rolling it upwards and to the back so that it 
kind of looks like a roll. You know, it doesn't look like a corn roll, but it looks like, I don't know, it looks structured, I guess. So that's what I do. And Keep rolling it until you come to the end. Then wrap that roll around your bun. Yeah, so I added gel. And I'm kind of trying to smooth the hair away from the part. I take a little bit extra gel and then I do it again. Just start with a small part and you keep taking more hair as you roll. It's really easy. It's even easier than flat twisting, okay? And then you keep doing this all the way to the bottom. And then you take it and wrap it around your bun. This is where I secure it. Don't be scared if this looks small, if it doesn't look perfect. Because I told you, I got you. We gonna add hair. And this is Marley hair that I just had left over from the faux locks that I did. Okay. I just take the hair, I just bundle it together and then I tie a knot in the middle. Don't mind my kitchen, honestly. Ugh, mom, I hope you don't watch this video. My mom hates it when you can see my kitchen in videos. So, hi, mom! <laughs> hey, okay. I just wrap it around the bun, and then I just start using it to hide my own little bun. And I also try to just make sure that it really conceals it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then it just looks like a messy bun. If it was your own hair, it wouldn't have been perfect anyway. So that's, that's how I look at it, you know? I am going to take the edge control and lay these babies down, you know? Um, yeah. And that's two. Okay, yeah. So this is the end result. Wear something else because it's really, really hot. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more schnazzy and then it won't be as quick and easy but um, it'll still be relatively easy. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs an awesome hairstyle and um, doesn't have a lot of time. So, thank you for all of your support. You are awesome. Have an awesome day. Bye!